right. Maybe. Maybe all right. Let's see if I can get this guy, this microphone to cooperate with me here. All right, looks like we got it to a good spot. So this is another best of five set. This is our winner's finals match. We got Sox versus Twisted Sin Zone SBS. Yeah, dude. So we're going to go to Ethereal Gates game one. And I think this is honestly a pretty good neutral for both of them. Forest Wind gets a lot on the stage. Uh, Waveland off of those platforms allows him to set up some really cool shenanigans with backing. And that was really unfortunate first stock. Um, yeah, that was just, it seemed like a little bit of tilt, or a little bit of like, not even tilt, just kind of like nervous. Yeah, he needs to kind of shake off that nerves because he, has to, he has to, doesn't really land many attacks on him. That's not a good way to start the set, though. And unfortunately, yeah, I think once you've made one of those mistakes, too, it's, it's really hard to come back from that. But if anyone can start to get his mojo back, it is, of course, our boy. I keep wanting to say bread. But his tag just isn't bred on here. It socks, and it's throwing me for a loop, man. Um, and he has a best of five set to work with, so he can he can make some mistakes game one, and kind of wind himself back into it. So bread needs to calm down, and needs to not SD three times in the set and be okay. Hey, twice. It was twice, but I'm afraid about next set or next game. So bread's gonna take a little moment to. Oh my god, he just chugged that entire power aid. Well, he's got power. It's not Lunchables, but it's close. That is the new power aid slogan, actually. Okay, so it looks like we're going into game two. He, he shook it off. That game one was, uh, was a pity game. He wanted to let SBS have... He, he gave SBS that seniority of, hey... You're pretty good at this game. I respect you. I'll give you a free game before I reverse 3-0 this. <laughs> so, we'll, we'll see how this game goes. Once we go back to Ethereal Gates, the Sage wasn't the issue. But when you're up against a player like SBS, man, every hit he lands on you, it's just, they're, they're just in such strong and just such effective moments. It makes you honestly afraid to, to keep pushing buttons and to commit. When an opponent can make you second-guess your options as well as SBS does, like, it, it's scary. It makes you not believe in your ability to, uh, to land things. And I've seen two spikes now. Uh, Bread recovering in a... Honestly, the same way every time. He's, he's barely getting a chance to throw out Cloud. A lot of the moves he's doing seem to be more of a... I want to say habit. It's more like... A lot of the things he does in neutral before one of them gets in on the other one are just the same things, and SBS is able to read that, capitalize on it, and get in. And that's going to really hit Sox hard. He's going to have to start uh, adjusting and changing. It's, it's so hard to do this mid-match, but I feel like the neutral he plays doesn't work on SBS as well. You send Cloud at him, he's going to parry it, so you have to mix up your Cloud timing. And every time he sends out Cloud, he's getting punished. It's such a hard thing to explain, but he's playing kind of like a, another friend of mine. He's playing a little bit like Xylus in that he's using Cloud on stage, and he's playing scared when the attack, when the move comes out, it's coming out too late. And they're, he, like, he's throwing out an option, and SBS is just above his head ready for it, and punishes him for it, right? So he's not reacting to SBS, he's doing things all in anticipation, and SBS is using that to his advantage. But we're on a stage like Tempest Peak now. This allows him to play a little bit maybe safer. But even with that, I saw him use up air there trying to maybe double jump into it to spook SBS from trying to go for another spike. But SBS was content with just sitting on stage and waiting for him to come back. Oh, I love these double parries. Double parries are always fun to watch. Ooh, that first down air. Okay, nothing too crazy out of it. Uh, Fred's still on stage here. 
That back air is good. It got buffed. It's a great move now. It was always a good move, let's be honest. But now it's just a... Now it's a stylish. Yeah. Oh, it's good fair. I like that cloud placement now. Not, when you're far away from the opponent, placing cloud is actually okay. Um, especially like off stage. But when he's within walking distance of you, placing cloud just seems so unsafe and he's getting punished for it every time. That's true, he, it, that's a good point. He, so my, my silent co-commentator pointed out a really good uh, statement here. Vixie said, he's not using neutral B to place cloud, he's only using side B. So if he just wanted Cloud directly in front of his face, Neutral B is way less laggy. Like, it's so much safer for the same effect that he's going for for a lot of these Cloud placements. So, something to keep in mind. Though I do think a lot of it is fear. A lot of it is fear, a lot of it is nerves. Oh man. Okay. Good follow-up by Bread there. Not wanting to go and get a uh, three stock on this last game. As a matter of fact, looking like he can take this game if he plays well. This gets another good confirm on Thor's at this percent. Something into a fair bear. Could potentially take the stock, as kinda wild as that sounds. And he really needs it. He needs an early kill and then basically set up and try the early kill. Oh, but we're not gonna see the follow-up out of that. SBS comboing off of his clone's explosion into down smash. That's wild. Uh, Bread needs a hug. Bread needs a hug. But he's not out. He's in loser's bracket. He's getting back up there. He'll be back. 